Uh, Richard? I'm not doing it. I'm sorry? I am not doing two Sakura game reviews in the space of a month. Well, it is rather your job. Your viewers do expect a review. Oh, I know. But I... What? I'm not doing it. You are. I beg your pardon? Oh, you're me. Part of me, at least. So here's what we're going to do. You are going to review this game while I sit in your chair and make sarcastic comments. Now, scoot. Um, very well. This chair is nowhere near as comfortable as mine. I know. Now, on you go. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Let's Review. It appears that Winged Cloud have decided to increase their productivity, and as a result, we once again have a Sakura game to look at. This time, it is set in the world of a high school swimming club. Since this can only end in pain, I suggest we simply get on with it, and begin as we always do, with the gameplay. With Sakura Swim Club, Winged Cloud have continued their fine tradition of not including any gameplay elements at all in their games. Well, unless you count clicking past text boxes at any rate. This would not be a problem in a game with a story strong enough to keep the player engaged throughout. This, however, is a Sakura game, so frankly my expectations are not exactly high. However, one should always leave room to be pleasantly surprised. So, as such, let us consider the story. This tale of wondrous adventure follows a young man named Kaya, who has just become a pupil at a new school. He is less than enthusiastic about this because he has been to a great many schools in the recent years. Here, he decides that he will join the swim club, largely because most people are telling him that he shouldn't, and there he meets the game's female leads. Are they in a sexually compromising position? Why do you ask a question like that when you already know that the answer is yes? Just getting into the swing of doing your job. Hmm. As you would expect from a Sakura game, these two characters are sexualized to a frankly terrifying degree, whether that be from convenient gusts of wind that manage to lift up skirts, to computer wires that manage to wrap themselves around bodies in such a way as to push aside underwear. Now, I know that second one actually happens in the game, but I am right in thinking it's completely impossible, right? Completely, yes. I just choose to see it as a variant on the old tentacle hentai cliche. At least then it makes some kind of sense. As part of the swim club, Kader finds for the first time in his life something that he actually wants to do. What, you mean the girls? Kader decides that since he has joined the swim club and he is attempting to become friends with the girls there, he may as well try and become a decent swimmer. As a result, the girls eventually end up opening up to him about the more painful elements of their past, and it is here that once again, a Sakura game demonstrates an attempt at a genuine emotional moment that falls completely flat on its face because it is followed up by shameless fan service. I take it you are referring to the time when they use cancer and paralysis in an attempt to emotionally manipulate the audience. I am, yes. In a better game, this would not be an issue. Here, it is cheap and it is exploitative. Too often, cancer is one of those things trotted out by hack writers who believe it will automatically give their work some weight. It does not, and it ends up making them look desperate. Frankly, I have not seen a cancer subplot handled this poorly since The Room. And frankly, viewers, I think he's being a little over generous. Mm, perhaps. Then, of course, there is the adult content itself. 
This is not included in the Steam version of the game, however it is fairly easy to patch back in if you wish, so as a result after recording the Let's Play, he did. Only for research purposes. Of course. We found that it adds in a large number of uses of the word stupid by one of the characters and around five sex scenes, each of which is not very interesting and on several occasions actually managed to break the game's continuity. It's quite an achievement, frankly. It's also worth noting that the poor quality of the writing extends to the smut as well. It's not particularly well written. Frankly, you'll find much better stuff online with no effort at all on your part. That you will. It's also worth noting that the game contains numerous typos and errors, and frankly it feels like nobody even bothered to QA it. Overall, the story is lazy, poorly thought out, and all its emotional moments fall flatter than a sheet of graphene. As a result, I think it is best if we just move on. After the disappointment of Sakura Beach, I am pleased to report that Wing Cloud have returned to the services of their usual artist, and as a result, the art is once again excellent. With that said, however, it is with the best will in the world starting to get a bit samey. While the art remains of high quality, it's nothing that we have not seen before in the previous games, and as a result, I'm starting to get rather bored of it. It does remain of high quality, and I would never deny that, but I would like to see something different, though I appreciate that the artist is hamstrung in that regard by the quality of the writing. Overall, the art remains excellent, but it is nothing you have not seen in the previous Sakura games. The music for the Sakura games has never exactly been a high point of the series, and here it is frankly just bad. There are far too few tracks, and those that do exist are extremely short, and as a result you will hear the same few bars over and over again, which quickly becomes interminably annoying. There is no voice acting to speak of, and any sound effects present are so minuscule as to not be worth mentioning, and as a result the overall audio quality is simply bad. So, did I enjoy Sakura Swim Club? Of course not. Should you buy it? See my above answer. At this point, it is honestly difficult to work up the energy to hate the Sakura games. They exist, and they do not seem to be going away anytime soon. All we can simply say is, please stop buying them. Do you want to do the sign-off, or shall I? No, no. Your review. Your sign-off. As you wish. Now, if you will excuse me, I need to get him out of my chair. I will see you later.